Hi, everyone. My name is Louis Fallone. I'm the VP of Business Development at Active Trust IT. We specialize in managed IT services, software automation, and business development for law firms or small businesses across North America. Today, my colleagues William and Kennedy are going to show you two cloud accounting platforms called Xero and QuickBooks Online. They will go through the similarities, differences, advantages, installation, cost points, and other information to help you make the best decision on which platform you would like to use to manage your firm's accounting. A majority of the slides you will see today are showing how Xero works because we feel QuickBooks Online has a lot of exposure over the years and we wanna showcase Xero's user-friendly platform. Active Trust IT is a certified Xero advisor as well as QuickBooks Online certified. Our goal is to give you the tools to excel. I hope that after watching this presentation, you feel confident to work with us to improve your business's accounting. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the chat and I will read them at the end of the presentation. So without further ado, let me hand it over to William and he will go over the similarities of Xero and QuickBooks Online. Thank you, Lewis, for that introduction. My name is William. I'm happy to be here today to showcase the similarities between both QuickBooks Online and Xero. There are quite a few similarities and we're gonna start off by going over how to send estimates within both programs. Both programs can generate estimates that firms can send to their clients for approval before starting work. Estimates allow you to send customer details on your service and products and a breakdown of what it will cost them. What we're looking at now is the interface for generating estimates in Xero. The interfaces and processes on both QuickBooks Online and Xero are the same. This creates an easier transition from those moving from one software to the other. The major difference, however, is that Xero allows estimates to be accepted online via email, which marks it accepted in Xero as well. QuickBook users will have to get confirmation from their client directly. Entering bills. Like with estimates, the process for entering bills on both platforms are the same. They also both integrate with HubDocs, a third-party software that allows you to import your bills into the platform. Once the bills are entered, either manually through the software or through HubDocs, users will be able to assign those bills to a client or pay those bills directly from the platform, provided that their bank account is connected. Tracking projects. When using projects within both QuickBooks Online and Xero, users are able to create estimates, update expenses and bills, as well as track their time and costs. With QuickBooks Online, you will need either the Plus or Advanced subscription. QuickBooks Online also allows QuickBooks Payroll to add time to your projects. Projects in Xero are only available under the established plan. While working in Xero projects, you are able to send estimates and invoices directly from the project tab. Xero also allows you to set up tasks, which can be used as a to-do list for each project and allow you to record your time directly. You can use the tasks to record time and track if you are below or over the time you estimated it would take. Tracking mileage. QuickBooks Online and Xero both have apps that can be used to track mileage, the QuickBooks app and the Xero Expenses app. Both also allow you to manually enter the mileage you used. QuickBooks Online requires that the app is open to track mileage as it uses GPS to track. Xero's app requires that you enter in a starting location and a destination. The app will then calculate the mileage of the trip. To use this feature, you must be on the established plan for Xero. I'm now going to hand it over to my colleague, Kennedy, who will go over the differences within the programs. Thanks, Will. Good morning, everyone, or whatever time it is, wherever you're watching this. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So let's delve into the differences. There are quite a few that we're going to highlight. 
Uh, starting off with the user count that you're allotted within both programs, with zero, there is an unlimited um, amount, uh, regardless of the plan that you decide is best for your business. And with QuickBooks Online, it does depend on the plan, so you can have anywhere between one user or the max being 25 users. Um, also, as we go down the list, you'll notice that there is a central location for you to store your files that relate to transactions or maybe that you just want to store it in the program and that's available in Xero. Not so with QuickBooks Online. There is a way to attach files to each transaction in QuickBooks Online, but um, there's no central location to store everything. And to refer back to, um, we also can see that purchase orders inventory are in both, uh, but with QuickBooks, it will depend on the plan if you have access to that feature. Um, reporting is available in both. Of course, you will need to run reports for your business um, monthly, quarterly, annually, et cetera. Um, but it will, when it comes to QuickBooks Online, depending on your plan, you may or may not have access to certain reports. <clears throat> Both uh, programs include a payroll. Um, we'll add on that you can add on for the prices that you see listed. And we'll get into <clears throat> the, the payroll that uh, Zero offers. Uh, so, and then in both programs, you will be able to enter, uh, employees can enter their time. Let's go ahead and delve into users a little bit more. All right, so with uh, zero, as we mentioned before, there's an unlimited number of users and each user may have a different role or level of access. So within each um, category, there is about three to four levels. So under projects, we have limited standard and admin. Under expenses, you can be a submitter, approver, or admin. Under business and accounting, you can be invoice only, standard advisor, or read only. The extra permissions are listed below with their explanations. So cash coding means that that individual will be, will be able to bulk reconcile uh, the cash transactions bank account admin, that person will be able to uh, adjust the details of the bank accounts uh, that you've set up. Reports um, will depend on the level of access. So, um, and then manage users, what we've been talking about right now. Um, can you decide these roles for each person? So um, any combination of roles within each category is available and then that way you're only giving access to what is needed for each person. Let's go ahead and move on to files. So if we go ahead and play this short um, video, you will see where that centric location is in Zero for you to access your files. Um, so there is an inbox created automatically. It's just a default folder. And then on top of that, you can add new folders to organize your files. And also a pro tip is that you will receive a custom email address to forward um, emails that have files attached that you like to save into zero. That way you're not logging into zero each time, but you can just forward everything to that custom email address and we'll save into the program. All right. Let's move on. Next up is purchase orders. So as we see in the picture here, we can create a purchase order from the business tab, but you can also create a purchase order directly from the contacts record. Uh, you can submit and or approve multiple purchase orders um, for approval at one time. And then you can also create a new bill directly from an approved purchase order. And that way the details are already sitting there and you don't have to manually type them in again. All right, we can move on. 
inventory. So if we play the short video, <clears throat> and as you'll notice in the video, zero will keep count of items and their value. So you can look up the quantity of items on hand and available to sell. You can see the total value of stock on hand for any item. And in that way, you're using the data to make informed buying decisions. And you can see what's selling the best, what's selling the worst. All right, thank you, and we can move on. <clears throat> Let's move on to cash coding. To find the cash coding workspace, navigate to the accounting tab, select bank account, choose the account, and select the cash coding tab. Before and to avoid reconciling lines that match an invoice or other transactions you've entered in zero, reconcile on the reconcile tab first. In this image, it would be the one with nine entries to the far left. Focus especially on entries that show matches as cash coding doesn't show lines with a suggested match in zero. The spreadsheet layout under the cash coding tab, which is highlighted, um, makes it easy to check and apply rules or account selections across multiple lines. Save and reconcile when done. To reporting. So if we yeah, play the video, you'll notice how you can select from your favorites. Um, your favorite reports, the ones you use the most, or you can type in the search bar, the report you're looking for, and then from there you can apply the filters. What is the date range? Are you making a comparison to a previous point in time? And then are you filtering it to track a certain category, like a region? And when you update it, you get the accurate information you're looking for. In the next video, you'll see how we can finalize the report by publishing it. And then we can convert that into whatever file type we need, PDF, Excel format, or something else. Thank you. And let's move on to payroll. So, when it comes to the add-on service that Zero offers for payroll, it is called Gusto. The plans are starting at $39 a month. It really does depend on how many people you're managing in the system. So from the 39 start point, then $6 per person. Now the benefits are it will be a single sign-on. So your Gusto or your Zero credentials are your Gusto credentials, vice versa. Um, there is a payroll data sync. So Gusto, um, you won't have to manually enter things into Zero As Gusto pays or does payroll, uh, Zero will update with that information. There's easy navigation, so you can jump frequently. Um, you can jump to frequently use Gusto dashboards, like run payroll uh, reports and settings, all from within the Zero account. All right, payroll alerts um, come through in Zero HQ. Um, so you will receive reminders of payroll due dates directly from your Zero HQ dashboard. All righty. And there is an app we'll talk about later where your employees will uh, be able to, tr to manage their uh, end of the payroll. All right, so moving on to enter time. We can do that within the Zero Me app. So that's where, that's an application you can download in the app store. Um, mainly this is for employees and that way they're able to create and submit timesheets. When you submit a timesheet or when they do, um, your manager payroll administrator gets a notification. They'll approve your timesheet and then before the next pay run. So that way, um, if there are any queries, they can make those as well. All righty, <clears throat> and let's move on to pricing. So at a glance, <clears throat> you will notice how based on features, Zero 
is potentially the more affordable option for most small um, businesses. We recommend the growing plan for most um, companies as there's no limit to how many transactions you can create. Um, it's gonna give you the most for the best price, right? Um, and then on the right-hand side, you will notice QuickBooks equivalent, um, which is the plus plan. And the prices are listed for QuickBooks. I will say that they do run uh, sales. So the price you see listed may not necessarily be the price you're paying now or the price you will pay if you did sign up. <clears throat> so you really have to, it depends on timing and when you get signed on. So, all right, um, let's move on to the next, which is the mobile apps that Zero offers. There are many. So zero accounting is going to give you the most uh, features. So that includes invoicing, bills, spending, you know, expenses, et cetera. Uh, zero expenses is going to be for you to, um, to approve uh, expense reimbursements for your employees. Zero me is a way for the employees we talked about earlier this app. It's a way for them to put in those expense reimbursements, submit claims, uh, view their uh, pay stubs and their tax documents. Okay, zero projects is if you have that feature um, with that plan, you can quote track and, and get paid with on those projects. A zero practice manager allows you to uh, manage your project accounts and monitor those jobs and zero verify is just an authentication app for zero specifically so if you have trouble logging in you'll want to download that app all right let's move on to how to convert to zero so first and foremost you will want to set up <clears throat> a zero account we're happy to help you through that process um, and then the next two are not necessarily in any particular order. Uh, some people can immediately connect their bank feed. Some people want to import uh, from their legacy system so that everything's updated for the historical data and then connect the bank feed. Just depends on your preference and we can help you through that once again. Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide, which is further on this topic. So even before you set up your zero account, right, you will want to make sure everything is clean in your in your um, your your current account. You'll want to reconcile. You'll want to make sure you clean up the chart of accounts. If there's something sitting there that you don't need, get rid of it. Uh, turn on account numbers because the way the transition will work for your chart of accounts into zero, you will need account numbers enabled. So if they're not, then you want that to be done. And then you'll wanna save the uh, conversion file into one of those formats, um, sign up for zero and just make that conversion. So for support, <clears throat> zero offers um, you to raise a case. Um, it will look like that window on the right-hand side and um, after you do raise the case, you can track each attempt they make to contact you. You can respond to those attempts um, and manage everything for each case within a portal. And that's for specific queries. Otherwise, if you feel like you just need a little direction, you could probably figure it out on your own, then you can go to the Zero Central website and go to the support or learning tab and that way you can find the answer you're looking for. The similar process is in QuickBooks Online. You can um, go to the community website. Um, you can start a chat. That chat is depending on the level of your query. You may receive an automated system chat or it may be an actual person, it just depends. And then call back, you can just let them know, hey, call me back, this is my question. And then those are the three options you have with QuickBooks. So the 
the part we've all been waiting for, you've received a lot of information. So you really uh, want to start thinking about what is best for your business. Uh, why would you choose zero? And the few of the things we like to highlight are the unlimited amount of users that you're given, regardless of the plan you, <clears throat> you will have with zero. You have access to all reports, regardless of plan as well. Um, you, there's no restrictions there. Uh, file storage is another big plus we talked about. That is a unique feature that Zero offers. <clears throat> and then uh, you can manage all your, your business contacts, including email correspondence within Zero. We didn't delve into that too much, but that is one thing that does set, set Zero apart because if you don't have a practice management system where you're um, storing those back and forth emails, then this is a good place for you to start until you, or you may not need one at all. So maybe zero is the one-stop shop for that um, the factor. Uh, we also have automation for data entry with HubDoc. So that's in both programs. Both programs have HubDoc um, as an add-on. And then the biggest one that we all care about is what's affordable and plans for zero start at $12 a month. So at this point, I will um, pass it on back to Lewis. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Kennedy. That was great. Really appreciate that. So now it comes to the point of what can Active Trust IT do for you? We just showed you a, a brief overview of how everything works and how you can set up zero, but we are certified, we are here to help. We're here to hold your hand from start to finish and make sure that the implementation process goes smoothly. As you can see on the screen, we have training packages, a little, a new user two hour session just to get you off on the right foot. Um, we would go over accounts and settings, connect your bank, import chart of accounts from your legacy system, um, go over overhead expenses, reconciliation, reports, payroll, show you everything that you need to know to get you up to speed. Um, we're always available. We work you know, all day, every day. You can always call us at our phone number, which will pop up on the screen later. Um, ad hoc support is 165 an hour. And we can also just help you with the conversion process. So if you have a bookkeeper on staff that's pretty familiar with how everything works, but you just need a little help with the IT side of things, we would be more than happy to help set up the conversion from your legacy system into QuickBooks Online or Xero. And then if you feel you need a robust training package, maybe you want 30 days from here on out to have us work with you directly every day, we can have you know, a monthly plan that'll cover that as well. So last but not least, I see some questions came in through the chat. I appreciate that. I love the feedback. And let's go over some of the questions. Um, the first one I see here is, what is the turnaround time to transition from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online or Zero? And that's a great question. It takes about three days for QuickBooks Desktop to be exported into a data file that we can then upload into QuickBooks Online. We would help facilitate that request with QuickBooks Desktop. We would reach out to them. They would create that data file, send it to you, and we would help you upload that into QuickBooks Online. For zero, we don't have to wait the three days. We can export a data file ourselves into one of those formats that Kennedy mentioned earlier, and then we can upload that data file into zero within minutes. We might have to map a couple fields, but it's pretty straightforward. We would, we would handle that for you. It's a great question. Uh, the next question I see here, if I do not use Gusto, how would I use payroll in zero? And to answer that, there is no other automated integration besides Gusto. You would have to enter the payroll manually as an expense. You can do that and you can continue using 
your current payroll service. So employees can continue to view their pay stubs and tax forms as they always have from the portal that you currently have in place. Another question is, I see a lot of apps for Xero. Is there one central app that does all the features condensed into one? And short answer is no, but I kind of like the fact that there are multiple apps because someone on the sales team might not need access to the accounting app to see profit and loss reports, something of that nature. Um, with that said, QuickBooks Online has security based on organizational roles. So with the QuickBooks Online app, if I'm a salesperson and the firm does not want me to see the accounting and, and bank account information, they can limit that control so that you know, QuickBooks Online can also limit the availability of the information that's being seen. Just the difference is in zero, you have a different app for each different section. You know, expenses. I might uh, might only need the expenses app with zero because I'm a salesperson on the road and I'm I'm creating expenses on the fly. That was all the questions. I really appreciate that, everybody. Those were great. Thank you, and thank you, William and Kennedy, for going through that presentation. That was wonderful. And if you have any future questions concerns, just want to chat, give us a call, the phone number on the screen, reach out to us at info at activetrustit.com, and we'd be happy to have a conversation as to how we can help or, you know, answer any questions. So thank you for your time, everybody. Have a great day.